open, but it said you're in another meeting. All right. Yeah. Okay. So what's uh, what's going on? Well, uh, I spent way too much time thinking about my picks. And uh, you can't you can't spend way too much time. We spend twenty four seven on them. Don't worry. I know, but the problem is I'm 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 circling. Yeah, yeah. Your analysis, yes. your analysis by paralysis, right? You're. Uh... I'm having a. Uh, the reason I'm circling is there's one. There's uh, so I've talked to both my partners uh, about. I'm, I'm I'm talking specifically about the circa pool. Okay. Um. Th there's three of us working together, and we have two entries left out of 125. And it's a very interesting week. Um, there's three consent, uh, three, cons you know, consensus favorites. Two of those three teams also play on Thanksgiving, yep. which adds a really nice little wrinkle to things. Yep. The good, the good part is we have extremely strong entries. So we have a lot less to worry about than other players, but because our entries are so strong, it's not as clear to us if we're supposed to drop from yeah. the top three teams. Yeah. If we had a weaker entry, yeah. it'd be very, it'd be very obvious. It'd be very simple. Um, if we had taken, let's say Buffalo somehow or Philadelphia. Then, you know, you'd have um, to, you know, you'd, you'd have to uh, take risk and, you know, and do whatever and play, play, take Atlanta or Seattle or something like that, whatever. Then it's an easy drop. Um, A lot of it depends on what we feel. There's a large chunk of players that are supposed to drop out of the top three teams, but it's hard to say if they will. I mean, you know, it's it's really you know we're really more or less guessing. I know we know what they should do. They should drop, um, especially some of them more than others. No one is boxed out of the top three teams this week. So there now, is. However, however, keep something in mind, right? If, if, if there's if there's an entry that has just front loaded all their stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. Th then that's just their style. You know what I mean? That 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 yeah. That I, I wouldn't I wouldn't expect them to then become someone that knows how to drop down. Do you know what I mean? Just because now they're forced to, um, or you'd think that they would be forced to. I think that. Like you said, it's like your friend that had all those entries. You know, he this was his plan, and this was what what he was going to do. And, and I, it's it's kind of unless you're a really super sharp player, it's hard to you know it's hard to change your the way you approach things. You know, and if, if there are entries that have been front loading, and and now they're between continue to front load, they're going to be like, you know what, if this has worked for us already. We'll figure it out. You know, so I I wouldn't I wouldn't expect as many people to. And this is like their poker discussion, right? I, I wouldn't expect people to play as as the way that you would, um, as much as you would think, you know. Um, I no, I agree, I agree. But the other thing that's that we're com that's conflicting. That I mean, absolute truth. I agree with I agree with that. If someone is front loading the big teams, they're going to continue. But one thing w that is very apparent in the two year history of this pool is that a vast majority of players plan accordingly have planned accordingly for the Thanksgiving slate. Well, let's, 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 let's get to it. So, so, so how, what, what type of availability does Philadelphia have in certain? Philadelphia is, there's 125 left. They are uh, 78 entries. Have them available, available, right? right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and Dallas is is a team that people want to in general people want to say for Thanksgiving as a possibility, right? Correct. Okay. There's there's Philadelphia is going to get jammed. They're just going to get jammed, aren't they? I mean, it, who, no, who else what, are people really going to play? I no, I agree with that. What now? I uh, you cannot copy paste the circa uh, PDF into Excel, so I did it manually. Yeah, I'm sure. um, and I and, I and I made my beautiful um, conditional formatting uh, spreadsheet. It's very colorful. And starting at Thanksgiving, working backwards, 
um, using very basic process of, of elimination. Um, there's a lot of people that more or less, if they are considering and looking at Thanksgiving, they have to take Philadelphia this week. Yeah. If they want to take Baltimore or Buffalo in 11. Yeah. And then have Dallas for Thanksgiving. Right. So I, I, I fully expect over 20 people to take Philadelphia of the 20. 125. At least, I mean, minimum. I mean, that, that was a, a, an absolute floor. Let, let, uh, let's, let's, let's do it another way. Let's do it another way. There's 78 yeah. people that have filled. Right? Now, I, I guess I could ask theoretically, I, you probably should be able to figure this out, but of how many people have both Philly and Dallas available? I presume that no one's taken Dallas or very few, right? So that's an important um, thing is, 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 yes. is, is how many have both of them available? Um, I, I I don't see, I mean, again, with the exception of being like GTO or whatever and, and at, trying to outthink everybody else, I don't see a world that Philadelphia is not, I, I hesitate to say this, but 50% owned. You know what I mean? Like, it's like the perfect, it's like, it, they have no future. I mean, listen, as long as you can get through 10, which everybody can, right? Some Everybody's got to have something. They have Kansas City. Everybody's got Kansas City available, right? As long as Mo you can get through Mo 10. Mostly, yes. What do people really need? I mean, you, listen, Philadelphia is a luxury, right, to have. And yeah, if you want to keep pushing Philly out and you can get away with it, you have them as a huge hammer later. But the fact is, there's no week what you, that you need Philly, right? So, so, so Philly is 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 to me is just going to get jammed. Now, now, how you how you respond to that is 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 something else, you know? Like that's so, that, that that's what's complicated. I, so, I, so, I definitely so if Philly, agree. If Philly, if Philly is jammed, right? That that I I who who else is even on the board this week? Like you could play Dallas because. You're presuming that you have somebody available for Chris for, for Thanksgiving other than Dallas, right? Um, yeah, Minnesota or Buffalo. Minnesota. Yeah, Minnesota has been used a little bit, right? Buffalo. And Buffalo. And everybody's got – Buffalo is totally unused in circle, right? I mean, how, how, um, who's got Buffalo? 80, uh, 21 people have used them. Right. Out of, like, out of 125. I mean? so, so Buffalo is going to either get fully emptied, right? Because we talked about this, right? Like – you have Philly available for 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 Thanksgiving. You and I know probably the smart thing to do is save them for fourteen and let everybody burn them. You know what I mean? If you can get away with it. But the for, reality for is, Philly or Dallas for oh, Buffalo, 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 yeah, right. But but the reality is is that people are just going to take Buffalo. You know what I mean? Like they're just going to do it. They're going to take Buffalo on on Thanksgiving, which means again that that. That Philly again is. I'm just trying to think of who else people will play this week, except for Philly. I mean, if you play Dallas, you could play. I guess you could play Dallas because then you could have Buffalo available, right? I guess that's the point. Correct. Now, this is where I uh, we kept circling. Right. That's absolutely correct. I, when I said twenty, I meant if these people want to have a favorited team on Thanksgiving, they have to take Philly here. And, 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 that's, and that's like 20, almost 20 people m meet that condition. So I, it's going to be more than 20, but it's like going to be at least 20. Um, the problem with taking the, the problem with taking Dallas, and there's, there's not really a problem. It's just well, there's plenty of problems. With taking not, having, not having them in 13, 13, 14 is the hammer for Dallas. Yep. Um, they're, they're going to be used heavily. They're going to be used heavily this week. Who do they play um, in 13? They play Indianapolis okay. in thirteen. Um, in fourteen, they have uh, the fourteen Houston. is home against Houston. That I know. Yeah, so that's that's the, that's the hammer because they'll be used heavily in Thanksgiving. Because what's going to happen is when we when you get to eleven, Baltimore has been used by two thirds of the people. So when you get to eleven, if there's a big separation between the top two teams and the and, and the next group, those that would Buffalo and Dallas remaining. They're going. What they're going to lean toward the human nature side is I need to survive to get to Thanksgiving. They're going to take Buffalo in eleven. They're going to take Dallas on Thanksgiving, and and Dallas is going to get unloaded 
at, uh, um, you know, af after, th after Thanksgiving, which opens up a very big opportunity to have Dallas for 13 and 14, specifically 14, because the, those that still have them available are probably going to use them in 13 because it, it's going to be a pretty thin week by that point because um, you got Minnesota there. They'll have been used by people on Thanksgiving. They've already been half used, you know, in any way. Um, so it's, it's weighing the value of taking Dallas this week in eight versus the f future value that you'll realize by having them available for 13 or 14, you know, obviously very difficult to, you know, calculate. You're just in the end, you're just, you know, you gotta, you gotta feel it out and just, you know, and, and guess. Um, I think Dal I think Philadelphia is an absolute no play this week um, because when I've been plugging in, when I've been mapping four teams that had obvious, that have very vulnerable um, lineups, I'm not looking at ones that have all the teams, but the ones that ha like half box themselves out, they're going to have to take Philadelphia this week. And what we're going to see in week nine is if you have Cincinnati, you're taking Cincinnati. And then a lot of people are going to be taking Kansas city. So you would much rather have Philadelphia for nine and especially 10 if given the opportunity, you'll, you'll realize a lot more EV, but if you were to do both of those, then you have to take, you're not taking Buffalo because Buffalo, you want them for 11 Thanksgiving or 14. We're going to take, I mean, I, there's no way we're going to have them past Thanksgiving. We're going to use them in 11 and Thanksgiving, almost for certain. Um, and, and, you know, as will most people, you know, this, you, you know, to, you know, also this Etlinger turns out to be terrible. New England could be really chalky in week nine. Too. I'm telling you a lot, a lot of our projections and mapping is, is that, that, that has entered the conversation a lot is, you know, we we, we specifically looked at Indianapolis's matchups over the, uh, up, up through 14 and just marking these teams could become, possibilities because they're not going back to Matt Ryan you know if, if the only thing that's going to happen is they're going to go to somebody else Th this guy's going to be the quarterback regardless how bad he is um so it's a weird thing to account for but we're what that means is um but at the same time Indianapolis is a nice team to have for later if this guy happens to be good I mean if they get their act together I mean you could you could play him in 12 and 18 for sure I mean and and Chris and Christmas, right? Um, right. So you know, so we're we're looking at it from two different angles. We don't want to take Indianapolis because they could be available, but yep. we also part of us wants them to be awful, so we could p potentially use Philadelphia in eleven when they're at Indianapolis, um, so we can save our our Buffalo Baltimore leading Bal into Thanksgiving. Your Baltimore specifically, yeah. Yes, correct. So we can take. Philadelphia at Indianapolis and then take Buffalo on Thanksgiving and then say Baltimore for the, the last uh, two or three weeks of the season. Um, my gut has been to drop. Um, I spoke with one of my partners bef before we started this up and he, that that's where he's currently at. But what I told him, you know, after we talked is, I know I feel good now, but I know I'm I'm gonna you know go away from it for a little while, and then I'm what I'm gonna think about is what if there, there's there's a number of if you know how many people are dropping, if you know let's say tw if twenty five or thirty percent of the pool drop, then you'd much rather take Dallas now right. and then worry about thirteen yes. fourteen later. Yeah, I know people. I know that amount is supposed to drop. I'm very, very confident. And, and and I'm not talking about advanced strategy. I'm just talking about if they want to be able to have a favorite on Thanksgiving, they have to drop now or they have to drop in 11. Will they do that? You mean to play I, New I tend, England? I, well, they might play. They might just hold off on and play New England against the Jets. You know, that could be in their, in their, in their arsenal. Mm -hmm. It could, but then once you get to – 11 and you you're staring at yeah. buffalo at yeah. minus 14 and then you're looking at a six point favorite i get it you know you, you might just think oh you know fuck it i'm just gonna take uh 
You know, I'll, you, I'll just take or, New England. Or, or, I'll just take New could, England. You, yeah. Or you could drop two two to Atlanta in eleven. You know, that's 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 another possibility. So that that's where or Giants you know, if you haven't used them. You know, there's there's yeah, you know, there, there's there's definitely options, but right. Regardless of who that team is, because there are right. going to be enough options, what will those people do? You know, at some point they have to do it. Um, they're going. Yeah. They, they're going to have to drop. Well, me, the other thing you can think about is 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 this. I mean, the reality is is that instead of like, we're saying, oh my god, if they really want to have a favorite on Christmas, they have to do this. I mean, the reality is Thanksgiving, but yeah, that's what I meant. I said the reality is that you probably don't even want a favorite on Thanksgiving in anyway. You know, you, pro you probably would rather have a high leverage underdog than than the chalky favorite. So they might. That's actually... true, but but with with some of the you've mentioned this one team twice, and that's New England, right? Someone could accidentally use them in nine, them in eleven or eleven. Everybody has them. Only one person's used them. If you accidentally use them in nine or eleven. You get you in, and you you get to Thanksgiving. There there could be somebody without the top four teams. One of them being right. an underdog, and then you're stuck with the Giants or or God forbid Detroit. That that would be impossible. But um, the last thing I said to my partner was, you know, in the end, I don't know what the answer is. Usually, I have a, I, somehow in the last couple uh, few weeks, we've been. We, we really struggled to, to land. And then we landed on the pick and ended up working out absolutely perfectly. Um, at some point, we will have to drop. We have, a, we have a top 10 entry, both of them. The only entries better than ours are the ones that contain Cincinnati. And even you they mean, you mean the have, ones that you, you want that, that still have since the one that, that the you, ones that still have the, the, oh. the ones that have ba Baltimore, Buffalo, Dallas, Philadelphia, Kansas City, Minnesota. They also have Cincinnati. That That's the best. Those are the best entries. But even they are going to have to, you know, be on a team that might be 50 percent picked, you know, you know, 30, 40, 50 percent pick next week. And there's there's not an absolute comfort in any for anyone's picks going forward if they're thinking of from you know, a logical and, you know, you know EV, you know, maximum EV uh, you know, standpoint. Um, my tiebreaker, what I, what I told Frank was that, and this is, this is really where I started the week. If we have to drop at some point at the current spreads, I would much rather lose now than get to like week 12 and have a four or five point favorite then. Um, or week 13 and be in the same spot or week 16 and be in the same spot. Cause it, it, it just feel a lot more painful. And if you get there by taking the, 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 the smaller favorite now. All right. So let's say, so let's we say, so we, okay. So we take whoever, it doesn't really matter. So it, it, uh, that's the thing though. It does matter. Cause I, uh, oh. I mean, we're, I, I will say, I don't I, we're, there's no way we're taking Atlanta. I mean, there's absolutely Atlanta, no way. What, what, what do you got against Atlanta? <laughs> um, I, I, I think uh, they will be more picked than any of the teams. Oh, okay, three. fair enough. All right. Okay. So that, that's the only reason. I, oh, I mean, all right. I said last week, at least. I, so I you know, think, I you think that of the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the people that drop, like too big of a percentage of those will have Atlanta, is what you're saying? Correct. Okay, okay, fair enough. And there, what, there, what, there's. Who are you, so what are we going to do? We're going to take Seattle or or Jacksonville. Uh, right? So the the group is the remaining group. You um is Seattle, Indianapolis, Tennessee, Jacksonville. You can't take New. Uh, I mean, I guess you could you could throw New England in there, but you don't want you don't want you don't want to you can't Tennessee. because we we, we want to. I think people are going to be boxed in New England, but for Thanksgiving. But I, I think New England is a pretty sharp pick for for Thanksgiving, because um, they're not going to be that, you know, they're not going to be that big of an underdog. You, you want um, you want to keep, you want to keep Tennessee for that for that I forget which week 14, 16. Yeah, like yeah, fourteen, sixteen, correct. Um, you want to keep that. I mean, it, I mean, even Atlanta has more value than Seattle and uh, Jacksonville. They just do it. Like you have to drop a little bit when you're looking at these weeks, but you know, if Atlanta figures things out, you know they could be a bigger favorite than currently listed 
in 11 and 13 with Chicago and Pittsburgh. I mean, probably not, but like, you know, they have more potential than say Jacksonville, at least in my opinion. Um, and C- Seattle, I-, I think is almost the same. I mean, like they just, they, you know, maybe in 14, but you know, if we get to 14, we're going to have Minnesota. We're going to have, uh, you know, we might, well, if we go this route, we're going to have Dallas. So like, you know, hey, but we don't, wouldn't don't, need uh, them anyway. Don't, don't, don't uh, discount. You could have Seattle, you have Seattle in 14. You could have Seattle in, in, in 17. Who knows? I mean, uh, there's a, uh, you could use Seattle in the future too. It's not like this is the only time. You or, yeah. It's, it's going to come down to us weighing, you know, if we do, if we go that route, we're not taking the same team twice. We'd be taking two different yeah, teams. Yeah. We're going to, you know, because I, I just think. Is, is there anything wrong of, with playing like one Dallas and one, and one Bow Wow? I mean, like. If, if my, if, if Jesse doesn't want to go drop in both of them, that, that's what we'll end up doing. And that, that, that will be our, that would be the compromise is, is one Dallas and, and one other. Um, it, it's certainly not. Uh, that I know that's what he's going to say or, or, or prefer. Cause I think that's where he was last at when we spoke a couple of days ago. Um, I'm, I'm thinking of like the max best case scenario. Um, that's just the, that's the lens I'm choosing to look at it through and an optimistic lens where, well, you know, we're to, we can pick two of these teams. And if we get through with one of them, it'd suck to lose one, but if we get through with one, that entry will be so strong yes. that, you know, we will certainly lose overall EV, but, you know, at the chance of getting lucky and winning both of them, I mean, there's only, there's like right. a 20% chance right. we get knocked out. Right. You know, right. there's an 80% chance we would win at least one of them. Right. And that's the lens I'm choosing to look at it through for that one. Yep. So I, I think where we're at is, is, is one Dallas and one other. Yeah. Um, but if it was my decision, I think I at right this second, I would take two other, but all I'd have to do is do more work and see how many people really should drop. And it's like, fuck it. I mean, if 50, if I knew 50 people were going to drop, then I would just, I would take two Dallas. You take two Dallas. Um, and because at a certain point. Well, if this, if this helps you, I don't know if you saw this, but the guy with six entries. Yeah. I, uh, my friend, uh, uh, told me about that. I listened to the podcast a lot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's, so I, he's, and, and he's, he's, he's jamming, whoever it is. Is that, that, that's what your opinion was when you listened to well, it? That's what he said. Apparently, apparently he said, now, that he, that, that's what someone posted in my discord. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, I, I listened to it live. He left. Oh, he was, he was, he was gaming ended. it a little bit. You think? Yeah. I mean, he, okay. he doesn't have Philadelphia available. Um, he would, he would never jam Buffalo. And he'll jam, he'll play if, Dallas. I mean, I'm yeah. Sure. I mean, if he jam Buffalo, that'd be great. I wouldn't care. That'd be fantastic. But I mean, I don't think he should do that, obviously. But, um, you know, if, if anything, he said, he's, kind of, he's picking, he said Bob DeLuca was on a numbers game yesterday, and he's the one with six entries left in circuit. He's picking one team for all six of his this week again. That's 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 what that's what my, my oh, guy, my, my Discord. Team. Oh, that was something different than when I listened. I, I listened on, on the, the via the VEASAN uh podcast. No, it's just um, another numbers game, numbers game. Okay, well, I mean that that actually changes my opinion. If 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 that's the case, then I mean I don't want to take any Dallas if he's taking six. Uh, I I mean I'd rather just hope that he gets wiped out. He he has strong entries. The the but only the only it's again not a mistake, but the only uh, uh, you know blemish in his entry is he's taking Philadelphia and all of them. But he has all of the Cincinnati, so like that. That almost cancels all Dude, of it man, out. He must, have, he must have freaking had a heart attack. I mean, J- Jamar Chase is ruled out. Like, this is not easy. Like, that, that spreads down to seven and a half now. You know, it's, it's no, that's, that, uh, that's interesting. Um, yeah, I, can, I, I, I really eh, – I don't, I, don't, I don't know what my, what my feel is for that. I, I mean, I guess it, it makes them out of play for the following week, um, which is good because I'd rather people not use them, them there. The, the last one I want to discuss briefly is because uh, I, I am in three pools. One of them is pretty easy. And we what got, is this one? And what is this one you were telling me? You posted one of 20,000 people in it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we, th- that, that's the, the what was one. the buy in for that? Like $2? $25. $25. Oh, $25. Jesus. That's, that's 500000 still, right? Or whatever. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Minus hosting fee. But um, <laughs> Captain you know, is in. I, I'm actually really struggling with this one too. Actually, I have two entries that had 
the nuts. I mean, I, I two of my entries have Cincinnati available, so I was definitely bummed to hear about that news because having Cincinnati available with all those other teams is pretty fantastic. Um, but we have doubles in 12 and 13, and I, I, I have no idea what to do in this one either, and I've spent a lot less time on it because this one's individual. So okay. I was trying to h- hope to figure out the other one first, and this one I at least have till Sunday morning. But and is it, this no, one this I, is not this is not doubles yet. Not not the next doubles is twelve. So it's it's whatever it's it's, it's single single singles then the doubles and twelve and single single singles. And yeah. how many is that down to? Like a hundred or something? Uh, 100, 118. And, and how I've many you have? Four. Is that the one you have? I eight? have four. I have four. Four. And someone has nine. Someone else has four. Someone's got nine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's a. He's sharp, he's sharp too. I I I right. I, I, I message I, I text. Well, we don't I mean, like anything else. Go backwards. Who you who are you playing in twelve? You know, like um. Yeah, that's so. The my my starting block for doubles is is holding all of my Buffalo for twelve. That, you, that, have, that's, you have Miami available still? Um, I do not. I actually use them mm-hmm. all up. I I set that up as a fade game intentionally for twelve because I knew I was gonna have I was playing for Buffalo, um, and. Uh, I didn't want to take New England last week because I thought they'd be too heavily picked. And, and I wanted I presume, to save I New presume, England. I presume you burned San Francisco or no? I have one San Francisco okay. available to four, but I'm actually going to set them up as a fade as well. So and I'm going to Cow- – the I, Cowboys? I have all my Dallas. I have all my Kansas City, all my Philly, all my Minnesota, all you my can't Baltimore. Use, you my can't Buffalo. use Dallas this week in that poll. So I, I my, my – I, yeah, I, I currently have uh, Philadelphia – um, if I'm going to take a team, it's going to be Philadelphia. Um, I, I'm considering taking, um, Philadelphia, considering in 12, taking Philadelphia in 12 could be interesting too. Yeah. The, and the, and the other route is just to drop. And, you know, it, 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 this one's a, a little bit easier to, to make because it, it's, it's a tough decision, but it's, it's my own decision to make, which makes it easier. Right. So I, we're not making it as a group. And I have four entries, so I can take, you know, some extra, you know, you know, uh, risk for potential right. great reward. Right, 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 right. But we also have doubles in 13. I, I have all of my Oh, Tampa. you didn't say have, that. I, okay, so there's doubles 12 yeah. and 13? Correct. I, I have all my Tampa. I have all my Minnesota. I have all my, I have all my Green Bay. Um, I have all my Baltimore. All, you know, I, yeah, all my Minnesota. I got, I got, I have tons of options for 13. Um so you got to figure out 12 a little bit. Um, yeah. I mean, it's, it's probably, I, I need, I I'm, I'm pretty sure it's pairing Buffalo with Dallas. I mean, Buffalo for sure is, is going to be. Well, okay. So then like I said, so we can eliminate Dallas. So, so, so it's either going to be this week, Philly or, or drop, right. Um, and or drop. I mean, again, there's nothing wrong with Philly and, and three drops or, Two Philly, two drops, and there's certainly nothing wrong with that. No, no, not at all. I, 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 I I'm I, for this one. I'm actually not even really looking at, or or really caring about how many people are going to take Philly or how many people right. are going to take Dallas because the the equity that you can earn, the best opportunity is in the is in the double picks week, and yeah. I, I intentionally burned Miami so I could get off of New England and save everybody else. So, th- yeah, he, they might be a 13-point favorite. But you know what? Then everyone's going to take them. And, you know, if they lose, that would be fantastic. Um, and, and San Francisco, I set, that, I set them up as a fade in week two for this week specifically. So that, that, that's looking – that's really co- uh, come to fruition because a lot of people have them available – and they are the third. They're, they're tied for the third biggest favorite with teams that are going to be, you know, mu- you know, much less available than them when we get to that week. Um, and then saving, you know, really the the hammer there. I'm only looking at this pool from week 14 in. It's it'll probably go past 14, but if I were to save Dallas for 14, then I can play for this pool with the possibility that it will end because I'll, I will be on a team that's so little available um, in Dallas for 14. Right. There'll be, you know, and actually you'd be, you'd be shocked how many people took them last week. Really? Um, I don't know how this is possible, but 
Um, they were, it, 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 blew, it, it blew me away. They were nine or 10% pick last week. Well, it's $25 entries, you know. And uh, it was great because, I mean, all you do is look one week ahead. You're like, yeah, I probably would want them. You know, I, I, I want to say Buffalo. Right. I, I want to say, I want to say Philly. And, you know, this is another example of you don't need to look as far out as Eric and I look, but at least look to the next week. Right. Um, right. You know, th- 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 you really put yourself in a handcuff situation. There are, uh, th- there's a lot of people in this pool where if you, if, if someone's going to take a favorite, one of the top three favorites, Right. They, uh, let me see. It was pretty, pretty ridiculous. Um, eight people. Is this the right one? Yeah, I mean, like thirty something people have have taken two of the three teams in different combinations. So if they're going to take one of the top three, they only have one choice, and that's like you know twenty something percent of the pool is is you know more or less locked in. So um, I, I'm, I'm gonna. I think the play is, is, is to go a lot of Philly and then just, you know, figure out, you know, week, uh, you know, week 10 and, and just really just play, probably just play up all of my, my Kansas city. Um, but if I decide to look a little bit out to like week 15, 16, then it's like, well, maybe I should keep, you know, keep a Kansas city in my back pocket. Cause there's still a good chance it goes the distance if, you know, especially if there's not yeah. an upset, but, um, I'm, I'm set up pretty well for that. Um, I, I I think in Circa will will be pretty aggressive because it'll set up very easy decisions in a lot of the weeks coming forward, and we won't have to you know str- you know really stress it and, and decide between dropping and, and and taking you know our best available um, because the the upside is so is so large, but it's tough because if Saturday night comes tomorrow night and 25 percent of people drop to atlanta and below i'm gonna feel pretty sick that i didn't just drop dallas on him right um, but right w- i mean what, what do you think everybody can take i think i maybe two people can't take one of the top three teams how many how many people do you think will drop out of 125 10 i mean i really don't think they're gonna do it i, I just yeah. well here's the thing people people will, will fade dallas right because you, you know you can use them like and you're gonna need yeah. them, you know or whatever i just i just don't think i just think philly's just gonna get crammed you know and 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 then there's dallas and who, who else you consider a top team you think, think people are gonna use buffalo i mean I mean, that's the, gotta be, the that's only, gotta be just terrible, right? I mean, like, I mean, it's it, it's definitely terrible, especially for the one with double picks. But you know, some people have put them. Well, I'm talking about circa. Situation. I'm back to circa. Yeah. Oh, circa. Yeah. I, I mean, I'd be, I, I would be pretty surprised. But then again, you know, in circa, somebody picked Cincinnati last week, and six people picked Dallas. So like, somebody's gotta know. have. If you have Buffalo available, you have to. I mean, you have to have Philly or Dallas available. Like like Buffalo, you, nobody's burned both of those teams. I mean, maybe somebody has, but oh, but, but it yeah. seems tough, you know. And 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 maybe those people would 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 just get scared and say, "Screw it, I'm just taking Buffalo." But but Buffalo is out of play. It's it's Philly and Dallas, and maybe maybe you're right. Maybe like who's like the straight win odds play after that? And I mean, I, there's I, uh, there, there's definitely people who've used Dallas and Philly. I mean, I, I have I have it right here. So they'll play some uh, Buffalo. And so one, I guess. Not as two, I guess. It's two, maybe. So and here's the thing: if you drop, like two. you were saying, you're not you're not dropping to play Minnesota. You're not dropping to play Miami. You're not dropping to play Cincy. The only team you're dropping to, drop, drop to play is either Atlanta or Seattle. And like you said, Atlanta is four percent more likely to win than Seattle, so they'll be jammed over the Seattle play, I guess. Um, if you had to put it between those two, I just, I just. I don't know. I, I see. Wish we could get cheese on here. I mean, he, he's pretty what, good with this. With this what would you if if you had one entry only? Would you take? Um, would you take Dallas, or would you take other? Other being out of the top three. 
Um, I I would I I would probably honestly I'd probably take it my own. That's I I, I don't want to take Dallas. I I act because remember I like Philly more than you do, but I just know that Philly in this particular pool is going to get crammed. So yeah, yeah. I, I I would probably take I probably would if I had one, and it was just my money, right? It would be. Yeah, no, he, I, yeah. I would do it. I would do it. Like if I, 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 my partner would never, would never go for it. But, but, but I, I would do it. I, I would play either Atlanta or Seattle. Luckily, I don't care if I get uh, outruled because I've been saved. Right. Twice. Um, I wanted to have a Chargers entry last week, and I wanted to have a Jacksonville entry the other week, even though I knew they were going to be chalked. Just like how much I hated New England last week. I knew Jack. We knew Jacksonville. We, I mean, I was convinced by my partners that they would be over thirty percent pick. I just didn't care. If I use Dallas, I can't use now. What that means is that I can't use Buffalo in Thanksgiving. I'm not saying I want to, but I'm just saying yeah. because if I use, I'm back to this whole fourteen dilemma. Like if I have, yeah. if I use Dallas this week. Then I I need to play Buffalo in fourteen. Okay, I just need to. And and if that's the case, then I can't use them in Thanksgiving. I I just wonder. And Buffalo is just got, they got to get jammed on Thanksgiving, right? Or eleven. Or eleven. And if you don't use Buffalo on Thanksgiving. Do you have Minnesota available? Oh, yeah. You have Minnesota available, so you have them as an option. You have Fancy Play New England as an option. You have Fancy Play Giants as an option, but that's not really going to be an option because Dallas is not going to be as highly owned as – well, maybe. Who's going to be more highly owned on Thanksgiving, Dallas or Minnesota? Um, I started projecting if people are looking at Thanksgiving and working backwards, and I, and I didn't do – I didn't – make it too complicated just like very like three steps if if they if they've already taken baltimore i gave them buffalo in week 11 and as long as they had minnesota available uh, i i i think buffalo will actually be the least owned team of the three i i i really do i i i know dallas i i know buffalo is gonna be less picked than the, than the other two this week but they will be picked by non-zero this week, non-zero next week, non-zero okay. the next week. Okay. And then Fair we're going to get to 11 and the people that don't have Baltimore, which is two thirds. No, you're right. Buff, and, buff, buff, and, buff, and, buff, and, unless something changes, they're going to, they're going to get scared. You think in week conservative. nine, you think in week nine, okay. If you got Buffalo at 10 and a half on the road against the Jets and you have Casey at home off the buy at 10 and a half. Okay. With Buffalo needing to be safe for Thanksgiving. I, I don't think, I think that KC is going to get just obliterated. Oh, I agree. I, I just mean that between this week and next week, let's say everybody makes it through. You'll get a couple. I mean, I think, at le- I think at least 15 people total will take them between okay. this week and next week. That, that, that's fair no, enough. But I, but I agree, next week, very a lot less. But now with Cincinnati dropping to seven and a half, yeah. there might be – there yeah. might be there's going to be more than one person that gets off of Cincinnati and goes to Buffalo. They yeah. shouldn't, but yeah. they, they will. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this it makes it fun. There's a, there's a lot of guesswork to it. Um, I really think the decision comes down to how many people, what percentage we think will drop. I have an idea of what I think the answer should be. I, I I think like a quarter of these of the entries should just if they look at Thanksgiving alone so and you're week saying eleven. That that twenty five. Uh, how many people are left? A hundred. A hundred and twenty five. So you're saying that 30 people will take somebody other than Buffalo, Philadelphia, and Dallas. If they're looking at Thanksgiving, if they're if they want a fa- if no, they want a favor, but, but, but you're saying, but, but yes. also you're coming to inclusion. You're you're. Suggesting- I think they have to. I think they if, if if they want a favor on Thanksgiving and they want Baltimore or Buffalo in 11. But you don't need a. But, they, you don't need they, a they, but you don't need a favor on Thanksgiving. Why does everybody else need? Uh, well, just in the in the small history of the pool. Right. They're like right. the dogs are like ten less than ten percent picked. Okay. Um, so, uh, but th- that's all I have. I had a bunch of notes written down, but I think we went over most of it. In the end, I, 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 
I just, just, whatever just, it is, whatever we decide, once the buttons click, it, 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 you know, we'll live with it. I don't think there's a lot of regret. So this, way. this is this is what we're gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna protect you a little bit. I'm not gonna post this until after picks lock. Um, I'm gonna post this at like after picks lock at twelve tomorrow, because I think it's important that people hear, you know, like like thought process. I don't need people trying to figure out who you're picking. Um, okay, well in that in that case, I, I'm I want to take uh, um, if I'm picking. Right now, I'm taking Seattle, and I'm taking Jacksonville. Th- th- oh. Those those are the two teams I would take. Right. I don't love it because right. I think Dallas is going to be overpicked than what they should be because I agree mm-hmm. with you that they should be Philly, but Dallas is a lot more available. Well, um, you know, it's beautiful. Jacksonville's 9 in the morning also. It's 8 in the morning. It's a London game. And, and, if, I, and if I go to church, I'd be in the <laughs> second pew um, <laughs> uh, watching the rest of it. That's right. All right. Good luck, man. Let me know what you do. Thanks, Eric. I will. Bye-bye.